April 29th, 2023. I have like a taking up dream with Eternal Father. And when this happens, he's always has his um, Shekinah around him. So I was like trying to pull apart the Shekinah cloud and then he opened it up and I seen Eternal Father and he's in a room and I know this to be like kind of like um like if you would go to like uh, Joe Lewis um, Arena where they have conventions he's like at a convention center in the in this area and where all these people are all over but I knew it was Father and he had sunglasses on now if you ever seen Father Eternal Father He's got white hair, and it's all feathered into the center in the back of his head, and it covers his neck. His hair always covers the back of his neck, feathered perfectly to the center of his head. And I'm like, Father, Father. And I ran up and gave him a hug because he's wearing sunglasses because his eyes are like, they, they shoot out like white fire, okay? So he's like doing a walk, and I know this to be a walk, and he's searching for people. He is literally walking the earth looking for souls. So as I go for this walk, he's walking ahead of me, and I'm always like to his right as we're walking. And um, as I bump into people, I am feeling everything that they do to offend God. I bump into alcoholics that don't know God and don't care to know Him. And then from that convention center, like these people only thought about themselves and never put into thought God or Jesus at all. It's like almost obsolete. So then I knew I was like at a place like Joe Louis Arena and these are like sports people. They go to do um, watching big trucks and, and these people go to concerts and stuff and all like outdoor, um, all indoor, big, huge things like Joe Louis Arena. And so me and father are walking down the hallway and I bump into a, a man and I knew his sexual immoralities never wanted to be married, never cared to even search or seek out God at all, and that this person was always having sex with woman after woman. So then Father kept walking, and I'm walking to the right of him, and then we're in an airport. And in this airport, I'm seeing people just going about their life, um, doing their vacations, their fun, their joy. And I knew that none of them ever sought out God. They say, oh, I believe God, but there was no relationship there. So then I spotted two people, a man and a woman, and I knew these people, and they were my old bosses. And he looked at my old boss and I'm standing there and my boss was lit with light but I knew that my boss that he occasionally smoked marijuana and God loved him and that this man even though he occasionally smoked marijuana loved God and was filled with God's light and was trying to get off of marijuana. So the key word is, he was trying to get off of marijuana. So when you try to do something, God will see your light for him. And so then, Father and me, we walk outside of this airport, port, and um, outside it is black outside, and it's a snowstorm. And I see this huge white pickup. Um, it has, um, I, I don't, it's, 
it's a double cab, this white pickup, and the windows are all black. They're all blacked out, and it's barreling down the street, and then Father projects my eyes to the tires. There's no treads on them. Have you ever seen a truck being retreaded, and then they peel off all the treads, and then you have that, that weird band, and on the sides, there's like nothing there gripping it, and the snow all over the road. So this, we have icy cold roads. Now remember that, full of snow. And this truck is out of control. Then I see this girl walking across the street. And this truck is out of control, just skidding all over. And the people in the car, they didn't care. They were just so careless at their driving, even in the conditions they knew they were in. They didn't care. And then they almost hit that girl. And Father had protected that girl. And then they tried to kidnap that girl, but Father did not allow it, meaning his children. He will not let them be astrayed. He protects us. And that was my walk with Father, that he was out trying to find people. He was going to and fro looking for people that even cared and it was actually depressing. It was so depressing.